hello bugs once again it's your girl Lily love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i'm just a messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for the likes subscribe shares and views everything is greatly appreciated my loves so let's go ahead and get into it all right we're going to do us an energy read in the energy of aries all right, so um, this reading is welcome to everyone. Just because it's a Zodiac reading does not mean you should exclude yourself. Some of you guys may have it in your uh, other aspects in your chart, or you may know an Aries. This reading could resonate, okay? The only thing in this reading that is just for my Aries collective will be uh, these lucky numbers. So if you have Aries in your sun, moon, or rising, or somewhere else in your chart, these could be your lucky numbers, okay? All right, Aries, your lucky numbers are 44, 65, 53, 64, 67, 58, 42, 9, 30, 18, and 27. My goodness, my gracious. All right, 44, 65, 53, 64, 67, 58, 42, 9, 30, 18 and 27. All right, so let's go ahead and get into a reading. General, um, a reading in the general energy of Aries, okay? So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, thank you for divine guidance, clear communication, and divine protection. What do we have in the energy of Aries for the collective, Holy Spirit? What's going on in the energy of Aries for the collective? I'm here, Slinky, Slinky. Everyone loves a Slinky. Uh, go, Slinky, go. <laughs> uh, someone wanted to bounce back. They thought they had protection. Now they need it. All right, you have divine protection. So whatever they tried to do, bounce back to them. They were trying to be slick, do something behind your back. This is a two-time and some SOB, okay? Someone who could be a fake practitioner, fake spiritualist anyway. They could do any form of divination, but this is a fake spiritualist, okay? This person maybe act like they genuinely care for you in the past, but it was a trick. They were It was a trick because they needed help to try to cleanse something off of them. They had some sort of secret that they were keeping away from you, keeping hidden from you, and this person was manipulating you for your knowledge, trying to get you to maybe, you know, do things or pray for them. Uh, however you get down, you know, because they needed a fresh start. This person wasn't telling you exactly what they were doing. But it had something to do with someone else's divine masculine. My goodness, and look what fell out the deck. This person was trying to hide the truth, and this fell from behind the truth. If they were an attention whore, okay? They tried to do something to someone because they felt like they were at their breaking point. They wanted to take someone else's masculine, so they were trying to extort you um, to try to manipulate you into getting some sort of start. With this masculine for them, um, this person may like to get drunk. This person may like to sell vagina. You found that out about this person. You stop talking to them, all right? Or maybe a masculine find out that this person likes to go out, drink, and sell their vagina, and they were trying to act like they didn't. They might have been poisoning this masculine's food as well to change his uh, views or change his mind on certain things. They didn't want him being in a divine union with you. This person also was working in your face with a voodoo doll. So they would maybe try to do things to this voodoo doll. I'm getting maybe one time you even spoke up on something that this person did. And they were surprised. You know, like if they were poking at the damn voodoo doll. And you said, you know, damn, somebody is tearing me up the days like they stabbed me on my side. She realized like, oh shit, that's me. Okay, this person wants attention. I told you again. Some truth about a voodoo doll, some secret came out and you have divine protection from whatever it is this person was trying to do and now it happened to them and they need help. Trying to get social status, all right? They wanted to sell some vagina to your divine masculine to break up your union. Trying to hide this. Now they're not receiving justice. They're getting the back end. This person isn't receiving anything, so this attention whore is not receiving attention. They're not receiving money for the cootie cat that they sell it. 
they are broke. I'm hearing broken and codependent because of this dog. They sacrificed their finances and their way of life because of the manipulation of this doll. They wanted to get a baby before this masculine got into this divine union to keep their spot, to secure their spot. This is a betrayer and a liar. So this could have been somebody who was already trying to get on your masculine and they sought you out and found you and then tried to befriend you to throw it in your masculine's face. Uh, maybe they thought that this masculine was coming back to you. Or maybe this masculine was rubbing you in their face. And they wanted to bind themselves to this masculine. They really felt con connected to this masculine. <laughs> so basically, your ex played on this girl head. <laughs> played on her top. Played with her. Pretended to be her friend. Or, you know, lay with her and got what he wanted out of her. But I guess he was pillow talking about you. This woman sought you out. And she tried to pretend to be your friend, but in the background, she was real wild. She was hiding what she was actually trying to do. She wanted this masculine, and this masculine wanted you. But I don't think this is your divine masculine at all. This is a person who maybe lied about being your divine masculine or wanted to be your masculine, period. And this person felt like, well, if you want to be her masculine, then you must be some divine masculine. She must care about you, so I need to get in where I fit in. Yeah. She was trying to siphon your energy. She felt like if he was obsessed with you and he stopped fooling with her and he wanted to come back to you, then she needed to beat him to you to take your energy so that she could pretend to be you. But you took back your energy from this person. All right, now this masculine wants to come to you even more than ever. And this feminine really wants to pretend to be your friend again. She really needs your energy. Feels She feels like this masculine is slipping away. That's why she wants revenge. But it's like... I don't think, again, that this is your masculine. You're receiving karmic justice from both of these people. They tricked each other. Yeah, like she tripping on some man. Yeah, like third party shit. He, they tricked each other. This masculine already know that he can't even get in your energy. He wants to, though, and that's why she knows it. So she's trying to come over here and be your friend so she can rub it in his face. Rub some new baby in your face, too. Tell you something about a new baby trying to make a big problem trying to strike your ego but you don't give a damn so she probably even had a baby with this masculine and she thinks that you don't know so she want to come tell you this person maybe tried to stunt on the internet in this relationship as well to try to get your attention and it didn't work this person has a mental illness their mind is not right and they're just stupid jealous of you and they're just concerned with getting you back in their life but you're not going to do that you know this person's a copycat and this person is just a liar and they in it for the cash you know this person also tried to plot against you and it didn't work no hex no curse no weapon formed against you say i prosper if it got something to do with this motherfucker here because they're not worthy of whatever gifts they portray that they have they try to play like they're an earth angel or that they're real powerful and they're not like there's some sort of witch doctor and they're not all right, they're very shocked that whatever they're doing is not working. They're not getting any more uh, attention for trying to pretend to be a divine feminine. Just like your light is blocking them out. And they, everybody knows that they just want a piece of the pie. They just want somebody's money. They just want to be in somebody's relationship. They just want to start some sort of drama. Okay, you're receiving success. This person's getting karma. They tried to put something in someone's drink in order to pull them in and get some money from them. But it didn't work. Okay, this person's being cut off. That's why they're sending all this chaos magic out. Because they keep trying to figure out who this masculine is. But I'm hearing a hundred yard dash. This man is running away from this motherfucking woman. And he's celebrating out here in other parties with other people. He's not even coming towards you. He is out here running from her and celebrating in third parties once again. Celebrating behind her back once again. But she is so totally obsessed with you. And I think that he wants to keep it this way because she's distracted. Dumb ass doing love spells and now she all tied up in it and don't know what to do, child. A mess. Do you hear me? I didn't even know what I need to pick if I need to pull anything else. Just a mess. Lord, where you want me to go with it? Because this is, this is, this is so much. <laughs> this right here is a lot. People do too much for clout, child. Too much. Let's get a couple cards. What's going on? This woman here. Yeah. I'm hearing he's sleeping around with everybody around town. Oh my goodness. Okay, this woman aborted some sort of baby in secret. 
I mean, uh, and gave this man a, this damn girl and lost her mind. She didn't abort the baby in secret from this man because she had a baby somewhere else. And then gave this man an STD and then want to understand, don't understand why he don't want to be bothered with a baby because that girl is poison. Okay, I'm here to destroy you. I'm just a temptation. All right, I want everything you have. This woman need to quit it. I talked so much shit about you, body shamed you, name called you, spreading lies. I did all that shit just to make me myself feel better. I hate to see you win, so I try to sabotage you. Uh, I don't think you're smart enough or smarter than me. Okay, she wants to take whoever this is that's supposed to come and make your life better. This God sent, God sent, God sent masculine that wants to come marry you. She wants to take this person away because she's an attention whore. She does everything for clout. She don't care about nobody. She just want to fuck with people just because she wants to make them miserable. She even, she lied about a pregnancy to somebody and put love spells on them to try to keep them on a leash. Making him take pictures to get other feminists jealous. And she, I'm like, this is what she do. This is what she doing. She's so hell bent on doing it to you. But this is just what she does to anybody male. If she get jealous with a female, she want to sleep with their masculine and third parties, manipulate them, do all kind of dumb shit. But she take it personal with you because she feel like somebody that, I don't know, maybe somebody that she thought she took, that she had, want to get away from her. And he want to come back to you. That's all he talked about. But at the end of the day, he out here sleeping with other ladies of the night. He out here being a whore elsewhere. And she just fixated on trying to make your life worse as hers go to shit. So, hmm. All right, y'all, this is it. This is all, my loves. I hope you got what you needed from this reading. I'm going to go ahead and clear the table off, and we're going to get into another energy read for this evening. So if you enjoyed this one, come on, pack it up. Meet me in the next one because you are also welcome there, okay?